Mmm, it's an orange juice. Hey everyone, it's Yarn from Orange Juice. Today we'll be talking about pulling units. It's one of the most effective ways to defend your towers. To pull troops, you first need to understand how aggro works. When you plant your troop near their unit, you'll notice there's an exclamation mark that pops up. That means the enemy units will draw towards your troop. On the topic of aggro, if a mortar or expo is aggroed on your tower, you can actually reset its target with a zap. It's important to have a general understanding of troop move speed. If your melee units are significantly faster than theirs, it won't pull. When defending with a pull, you want to spend less elixir than the troop is worth. You should only spend more elixir if you're going to counterattack. When doing a chain pull, your initial units should be expendable and cost 3 or less elixir. My favorite troops to use for the initial pull are skeleton, melee goblins, archers, and spear goblins. Troops you want to pull are knight, mini pekka, pekka, giant skeleton, prince, dark prince, barbarians, minions, and skeleton army. You can also pull golems, giants, hogs, and balloons. Some troops just aren't worth pulling. There are three different types of pulls. The standard pull, chain pull, and kiting. A regular pull increases the distance the enemy unit needs to travel to reach your tower. In this situation, separating the skeletons with a pull is absolutely necessary. It can change the entire outcome of the situation. Pulling can also come in handy to lock in a win. A chain pull can accomplish three things. One, it can pull the troop within shooting range of both towers. Two, it can pull the enemy units into the next lane. And three, it can divide the army between both towers. Kiting is the act of grabbing a troop's attention and running away from it. It's an aggressive defense that quickly turns into a counterattack. With these techniques, you can get their unit to do a full U-turn. Pulling is a cost-effective way to defend since it can utilize both towers. It only costs 6 elixir to shut down the 10 elixir army. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything new, give us a like and subscribe for more quality OJ.